hey what's up everybody infamous nyc coming back with another video talking about some of the I guess, uh, interesting forum posts and I, I see a lot of these forum posts as i as i do read a lot in the forums i i can't post on the forums but i do read a lot of the different things look at the different things that come up in the forums and kind of a lot of the builds that i make um, are a relation into what i see on the forums when i see people say like oh this class is on is on you know unplayable or you know like to, to run this class you're like you need to run this particular proxy otherwise you know not even viable and i guess you see this even more so um from a pv perspective where you know this one person is talking about you know the bad the clueless and the unwilling people uh the unwilling to learn people in dungeons and this is what zenimax is uh catering to as, as this player talks about here, it says it's just infuriating how bad and clueless the large majority of players are. And then they just refuse to li listen to anything that you're telling them. This is very true. There's plenty of times where I, I play in BGs and there'll be some guy with like 13k HP. And I'll be like, are you using food? Like, why is your HP so low? And then he'll be like, oh, I don't need food. And then that guy goes 0 and 15. Uh, and I'm like, and he's like, well, I'm just having fun. I'm like, do you have fun going 0 and 15? Like, it can't be enjoyable literally, literally getting two shot. And imagine PVEers find this exact same problem um, where he talks about, you know, a level 320 DK with a bow and do, do wield, but his only AOE is spamming Noxious Breath. A level 45 whose sole goal in life is to spam Crystal Blast. And I find this exact same thing in, PV, in PvP. I see guys that literally they just sit there hurling you know crystal blast over and over and over again just like you see the guy you know snipe spam i've had bgs where i literally have the magic aversion of people who do that exact same thing um, in battlegrounds they just sit there over and over and over again and 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 spam crystal crystal blast to no end it's like they don't cast shield they don't line attack in between it's like purse like who who needs man who needs a uh, who needs curse i'll just spam crystal blast over and over again and i guess this exact same thing and i, I see why because you see the exact same players do the exact same thing in pve and i talk about this often like what you see people utilize in pvp is what you see them utilize in pve because people use what works and so if i'm sure that this i'm sure that this guy who spams noxious breath over and over again realizes that does that because in pve at least in like 90 percent of the content he can complete it he can complete 90 percent of the content just by spamming noxious breath this guy that spams crystal shards over and over again probably can complete most of the content um in the game because the game is so easy now because of the dumbing down of the game and so what you have it pervades even into pve where players even refuse to use food as this one guy says that the cp450 who thinks food is for the weak and runs around with 10k hp i find those guys in my battlegrounds all the time it says but then there seems to be a general aversion to using food in dungeons and i find this at times where i get players in my battlegrounds that just refuse to use food they walk around with really low hp they get packed up they respawn onto the forums and they complain buff nerf etc and then you get guys CP for once, A10, who just refuse to move out of big red telegraphed effects and die as a result. But then they get irritated. Um, they, but then they get irritated if you point them towards the fact. And that happens with me as well in battleground settings where I'm like, hey, this is a battleground setting. It's designed for group play. You might want to stick with your group. And they'd be like, fuck you. Don't tell me how to play. Or like, oh, don't be such a try hard, Mr. Elitist. Uh, and that's basically what you get. And the reason that you see a lot more of this is because of the dumbing down of the game. I think most men are very familiar with the expression, iron sharpens iron. It's a biblical expression. It comes from the Bible. Um, and what it means is, is that when you hang out, right? I mean, I grew up playing sports. Maybe most of you did too. And for the most of us who especially in my generation, when you wanted to get good, you what did you do? You hung out with people who were better than you. If you're, for example, if you're a weightlifter, right? And you wanna lift more, you don't lift weights with guys who are weaker than you. You lift weights with guys who are stronger than you, right? Because it motivates you to lift more. The same, And that's the same with anything in life. Um, you know, they say the, you know, you are a reflection in terms of your wealth of 
the six people that you hang out with. So if you hang out with people who are wealthy, you're more likely to be wealthy. If you hang out with people who are, you know, doing drugs, you're more likely to do drugs, etc. And it's real. And the saying is very true that iron sharpens iron. And when, when ESO dumbs down the player base, what happens is you lower you lower the skill cap of the game. And when you lower the skill cap of the game, you in essence lower the skill cap of your entire community. And so what happens over time is that the good players who enjoyed the competitive PvE, you know, where that was difficult, or the people who enjoyed competitive PvP because they wanted to test their skills against other players to kind of see where they stood, see where they could progress, get better, you know, run run different builds, play different characters, etc. And when you dumb down the game so much to the point where 90, like over 90% of the content in your game can be completed literally by light attacking, what you end up with is you end up with a community that is very, very low, low skilled. And what happens is you get people who post on the forums nonstop that XYZ is too strong, XYZ, uh, you know, needs a buff or this needs a nerf. And it's what you see all the time. And it ruins, it ruins the game for for the vast majority of players where you get these very super casual and what i what i mean by super casual is the people who just don't want to learn the people that are just like happy uh, you know logging in they'll do a, a dungeon on normal they'll they'll kind of sit around talk with each other like these are the players that they're not necessarily the most skilled players but they're also not they're also not the players who are going to stick around they're also the players that are not going to stick around and add to the community. They're also the players that are not going to stick around and create build videos, teach other players how to play because they themselves don't know how to play. And so when you cater to that group, all you end up doing is killing the population of your game, which is what you see in the other schools online after the past couple of years. Um, it's not just that players leave from patch to patch to patch. The reason that players leave is yes, they come for the new content. But then they quickly realize that nothing has changed. <clears throat> the game is still the same. You know, it's very boring. Uh, the PVE is very easy, even though the fact that most people complain about it, um, but the actual content itself is really easy. And yet, all you hear about on the forums is, you know, this elite mentality. If you know how to animation cancel and weave your line attacks and you're some sort of an, an elitist if you if you want people to you know stick together in a, in a battleground or maybe run food and not walk walk around with you know 14 15 khp get them and getting themselves two shot well then you're you're an elitist and this mindset comes around where people just don't want to try they don't they have no they're avert to to learning and to becoming better and these are the people that you in real life, you wouldn't even hang out with, right? Because no matter where you are in terms of what you're doing, whether it's work or school, it's like if you want to do better in school, you don't hang out with the kids that are dumb and failing. You hang out with the kids that are doing good and smart and getting good grades. And you're like, what the fuck are you doing to get better? Because I want to I want to get better too. I want to pass my class. I want to do well. Or you meet guys that are you know, earning a solid living and you're like, oh, I want to be like that. I want to earn money like that. Or you could, maybe you see somebody at the gym and you're like, oh, I want a physique like that. I want to look like that because that's what I'm interested in. And so you, what do you do? You don't hang out with the guys that are going to McDonald's every day. You hang out with the guys that are going to the gym every day. And so if ESO would actually cater to the more skilled player, you would actually see a lot less nerf buff posts for that reason is because the skill cap would be higher. Players would recognize much more freely, much more easily, what overperforms and what underperforms. But since ZeniMax wants to cater to the lowest denominator for the purpose of killing their game, because that's basically what they're doing. Um, and unfortunately, the result is, is that, I mean, for most players, I mean, unfortunately, we see a lot of people that are leaving, that are leaving ESO, and you can, I can see it just by the numbers. I've tried queuing multiple times for dungeons at all times of the at all times of the day, even as a healer, and I find myself in ridiculously long queue times, uh, waiting waiting for even waiting for for battlegrounds. You've seen if you're a PvPer, uh, maybe you've seen the population in open world Cyrodiil dramatically reduced. I have. I've been playing ESO for a really long time. I remember when the cap in PvP was two thousand. We had multiple 
We had multiple servers capped with 2,000 players. Can you imagine 2,000 players, PVPers in Cyrodiil today? It just wouldn't happen. One, servers couldn't handle it. Two, um, we just don't have the population. Same thing in Battlegrounds. We, you know, you never used to see these ridiculously long queue times in Battlegrounds. And then as of about last year, that's what you hear about. You hear about long queue times. You hear about players wanting to come in with a pre-made group and having to wait, you know, 20, 30 minutes for a group. And it's primarily because of the dumbing down of the game and more skilled players leave. People realize that the game is very boring and mediocre. And and the unfortunate thing is that if Zenimax, if they don't change the way that they're the way that they're creating their patches from patch to patch to patch and stop catering to a lot of the players who have a lot of learn to play issues, then the reality is, is you'll see ESO go the way of like many other games, kind of like um, you know, many of the other games that have gone and went and died. And unfortunately, for some, for that may be the case. But for a long-term player like me, I'm hoping ESO will be around for a long time. I'm sure you are too. And it's my, in my opinion, if they were to make some of the more subtle changes, paying closer attention to what more skilled players who understand their game better than they do, if they were to do that, then you would see The Elder Scrolls Online be one of the top games in 2020.